Well hello there everybody and welcome to the latest video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to run every Ace Combat game that came out for consoles on your PC. Now straight away I'm going to be putting a list on the screen right there and there are a couple of things to note before we go on there. Um, I'm not going to be covering three of the games there because they're for mobile phones. Not doing them at all if you want to play them get them for your phone I guess but you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be covering them secondly um, Ace Combat Infinity came out for the PS3 as far as I as far as I'm aware that was online only and the servers are now shut down so I'm also not going to be covering that one so we'll move that one to one side and also if these games have a Windows release I'm not going to be covering them either because you're going to be better off playing them on the Windows release than you are on a console emulator for your PC Okay, now that is the final list I'm going to be covering. Um, I hope you all enjoy the video. Please consider subscribing. Let's get on to the first game. Okay then guys, for this first one, we're talking about Air Combat. That was the original name. This is essentially Ace Combat 1. The other Ace Combat games were sequels to this. Um, it runs fine in the emulator. Um, I'm going to link that down below. I'll make sure I name the name of the console and the emulator download link next to it. Um, before you start playing, make sure you go to option for this one and change your control setting to expert. The novice setting is not very good at all. Um, within this emulator, you can actually upscale your resolution as well. I've got this upscaled to the maximum 4K, but bear in mind, there's only so much the emulator can do getting these games to look any good. Um, so don't don't expect miracles with these PlayStation 1 games. I'm just showing you that they run fine in this emulator, that's all. Um, to wait for this to load in, I'll show a bit of gameplay footage. I'm using the same settings for each of these Ace Combat games for the PlayStation 1. Same emulator, same settings. And if you want any further help with any emulators in this video, please let me know in the comments if I get enough requests or enough of a heartfelt single request even I don't get a lot of views um, <laughs> then I will do a full setup guide video for that you know I'll do it for you if you want it enough I really will I'm happy to help that is my motto on this uh, I'm just showing you the gameplay footage just to show you that it all works fine just covering the spiel as it were there we go so just loading in and as you can see, yeah, the graphics look um, trash. There's not really much I can do about that within the emulator. This is just how the game looked, but it all works absolutely fine. Can't really say anything else. It is what it is. It's a 1995 Ace Combat game, so this game is 25 years old. Um, it is what it is. Okay, I'm just going to show some gameplay footage of um, Ace Combat 2 coming right up now. Here we are then, we're into gameplay on Ace Combat 2. All works fine, can't say much more than that really. It's a, a great game, it's really showing its age like the other one is, but at least the ground now has textures, so that's a that's a bonus right there, okay? Remember to set your controls to um, anything but novice as well, otherwise you get this horrible left to go left, right to go right, control system it's terrible okay let's check out the next game so here we are then i've just loaded into ace combat 3 electrosphere works absolutely fine enough said um the emulator is great for this you know the best one on the playstation one by far that's enough for that let's get on to the ps2 ace combat games okay catch you in a second okay then so we're on to ace combat 4 Shattered Skies. Now for this you want the PCSX2 emulator 1.6.0. This is a PS2 emulator. Now for Ace Combat 4, these are the specific settings you want. Just go to your config on this top tab, um, open up Video GS, plugin settings, and you want that on OpenGL software for this game, okay? For some reason, the other two you can use a hardware hack, so you can use hardware mode and upscale the games, but for this one, unfortunately, you have to play it in software mode. Still looks great, but that is the way you have to play it, okay? So let's put this Ace Combat 4 on, and I'll catch you in a second when the game's loaded in, okay? So here we are then with Ace Combat 4. 
just gone through the menus and I'm just loading into gameplay now. Skip the cutscenes and everything. It all works fine. I played this for a fair amount of time. Not today, but I have played it in the past on this emulator and I can report it all runs very, very well. Um, that's it. For the next two games, you will need to um, use a setting I'm going to show you. So I'm going to get to that right now. Okay then, so for Ace Combat 5 and Ace Combat 0 that I'm going to be showing the footage of next, to get this upscaled looking the best it possibly can be, um, before you load the game, go to Config, Video GS, Plugin Settings, and you want this set to OpenGL Hardware, change the internal resolution to whatever your desktop resolution is. I've just put it on 3K so that my screen cap doesn't lag it. Um, and then you want this little option here, this enable hardware hacks, tick that box and then go to advanced settings and hacks and click this box here. It won't be enabled by default, but put a line sprite on, make sure that box is ticked and okay it and okay out of that and then load up your Ace Combat 5. I'll catch you in a minute when I'm in gameplay footed. So I've just loaded in, I'm going to see how quick I can get into some gameplay here. Campaign, new game, yeah, just try and blast through these menus, get some gameplay. And you'll see the difference from the other gameplay that I showed. This is using essentially your PC's hardware rather than trying to emulate the PS2's graphics. The textures and everything are getting thrown at your graphics card to handle directly rather than exclusively on the CPU. Okay, so you won't need such a high-powered PC for these games. You won't need such a high-powered PC anyway, but this is far less demanding on the system because your graphics card's taking quite a lot of the load. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to explain it as best as I can. Now, this is upscaled to 3K. There's no limit, really, on the emulator. I think you can put it up to 8K in total. If you've got an 8K monitor and you want to play this in 8K, please be my guest. But, you know, I've got it on 3K. Set it to whatever your desktop resolution is. And as you can see, it all runs fine again, like I say, all good. And what I like about scaling up these PS2 games is when they're scaled up like that, they actually look almost as good as early PS3. I know that's a bit of a stretch, but they almost do. That's actually really graphically impressive for PS2. Okay, so I'm going to get on now and show you the footage of Ace Combat Zero. Catch you in a second. So here we are then at Ace Combat Zero. Like I say, make sure that you use OpenGL hardware, um, enable hardware hacks, and then make sure that little Align Sprite box is clicked, and then you can upscale this to your heart's content. Just wanted to show you a bit of gameplay footage of it running. Um, this one is probably my favourite on the PS2. Really, really good. Like it a lot. Brilliant game. Okay, on to the next ones then. So right here then we have Ace Combat Advance for the Game Boy Advance. The emulator I'm using is Visual Boy Advance. And um, you don't need to change any settings within the menu or anything like that. It all runs absolutely fine right from the beginning. I'm only going to cover this one quick, show you some gameplay, and I'll skip to that now. Okay, so we're into gameplay right here. And as you can see... All working fine, like I say, it's not your conventional Ace Combat game, but it does work perfectly, without issues. Um, I'm pretty sure you can put it on full screen, everything like that. Just mess about in the video settings, you can set it however you like. That's enough for this one, it's not my favourite Ace Combat game by any stretch. See you again in a second with the next one. So here we have Ace Combat X Skies of Deception for the PlayStation Portable. The emulator I'm using for this is called PPSSPP, that is the exact name of it. Like I say, I will link that down below. You don't really need to change any settings for this, just run the ROM, ISO, whatever you want to call it. Um, and essentially, in the video settings, you can scale this up, it's really easy to do, it's just a multiplication. Just set it on about 4 or 5, you'll get it nice and crisp, and I'll catch you all in a sec when I'm into gameplay. Here we are then in gameplay. This is scaled up to around 2K, I believe. Um, all works perfectly. It's a brilliant game as well. Um, back when I used to play this on PSP, oh man, I played this to death. It is a brilliant Ace Combat game. You know, 
that I can't say enough more. Um, so I'm going to load up the next one and show you some footage of that too. Here we go. So here we have Ace Combat Joint Assault for the PSP using the PPSS PP emulator. Um, like I say, I'll link that down below. Don't need to change any settings for this to work. If you want to upscale the resolution, you can do that in the settings really easy. Um, and I'll get back in a second when I've got some gameplay on the go. So here we are then. We've managed to get into gameplay. No problems as I expected because I've played this on the emulator. Um, works absolutely fine. Can't say much more than that, of course. Um, I haven't changed my control settings to expert on this, but make sure you do before you start playing, otherwise you're stuck with this clunky novice control system. That's enough of that one. Let's get on to the next game. So here we have Ace Combat Assault Horizon Legacy for the 3DS. Now I know this came out after the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions of the games, but I wanted to do them like console by console basically. I've got this running at seven times native and it runs absolutely fine of course. Um, so I'll get back to you when I'm into some gameplay footage. So here we have Ace Combat Assault Horizon Legacy. Um, like I say it's a bit jittery. This is a Nintendo 3DS game running on the Citra emulator, a brilliant emulator and that will be linked down below in the comments. Um, this game runs absolutely fine, it looks brilliant scaled up, it's just a bit jittery because of the screen capture, that's all. But like I say, everything is all good on this. Brilliant game as well, looks great, you know. Okay, <laughs> that's all I've got again for this one. I'm just basically showing you how to run and uh, the recommended settings. So let's get on to the next one. So here we have Ace Combat 6 Fires of Liberation. This is the Xbox 360 version of the game. I am using an emulator called Xenia or Xenia. However you want to pronounce it, I'm not bothered, but it will be linked down below. Um, so I'll get back to you when we're in some gameplay. So as you can see, we're into gameplay on this. Um, you don't need to change any settings at all within the emulator to get this running at 720p. The only issue with this is on every single map, there seems to be a strange texture glitch where you get these repeating triangles. If you can get past that, the game is fully playable. I've played this for several hours on the emulator with no issues, and I'm pretty sure that with future updates to the emulator, this issue will be resolved, so keep your eyes peeled on that one. Um, and then it's about time to get on to the next game. So right here then we have Ace Combat Assault Horizon for the Xbox 360. Um, this is also run on the Xenia emulator. Now, the problem with this is there is um, graphical glitches again on the ground and the menus run extremely fast but the gameplay is fine funnily enough but just bear in mind that um, as the emulator gets updated these issues will hopefully get ironed out you know I'm just trying to future proof the video that's all um, so as you can see cutscenes work absolutely fine but the problem is there's this weird um, like texture on the floor, it's a bit odd. I don't think it's meant to be like that at all. I don't know, but <laughs> I haven't played this one too much on the emulator, but I've, I've done the first couple of missions and um, it runs 100% speed. The only problem is that texture glitch on the floor. So yeah, that's the only problem with this one, but like I say, fingers crossed for an update that will resolve that, because this is a fantastic game. Not my favourite, I don't really like that dogfight mechanic, but that's just personal preference. And um, okie dokie, so let's have a look then at a real quick honourable mention, okay? So for anybody who's ever played the Ace Combat games, I'm pretty sure you've heard of Tom Clancy's Hawks. Now this is another fantastic um, fighter pilot game, <laughs> that's the best way I can describe it. Um, yeah, this runs perfectly i cannot stress that enough that this does run absolutely great on the emulator i've played several missions into this without any issues like i say if, there, if there's any jittering or anything like that it is to do with the screen cap that is unfortunate i know um, down the line i might get a screen capture device but we'll see okay <laughs> um, i'll get back to you when we're into gameplay oh no no need but as you can see this 
runs absolutely fine. Um, I haven't got a frames per second count on there, but I have run one before and it is 60 frames per second. No problems at all. Bearing in mind you will need some fairly um, beefy hardware to run this as it were. But this is fantastic, this game. I played this a whole lot and it looks fantastic as well. I can't believe emulation is coming so far, so quickly. Xbox 360 emulators on your computer. Um, now, before I end the video, I will give an honorable mention as well to Ace Combat 7. That is the latest and greatest Ace Combat game. Brilliant online and single player, and that has actually had a Windows release. So make sure if you're gonna play, if you're gonna play any Ace Combat game, Ace Combat 7 is the one to play. But if you want to revisit the old ones, I hope this video helped. Um, I'm currently doing a lot of emulator videos, top 20s, top 100s, everything like that. So if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm also going to start doing some long plays and everything as well. So there's a lot of good stuff coming up. I've got a lot of good videos in the works. Um, like I say, once again, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And um, I'll catch you all again real soon. Thank you very much, everybody. Stay safe.